Hello, how's it going? I wanted to provide you an update in my quest to find the holy grail of music players. Okay, so I have been looking for the perfect music player uh, for years at this point, and I essentially distro hop music players, okay? I've been switching music players. I've used probably 15 or 20 at this point um, over the years, and I really have yet to find the sort of perfect music player or even something that's uh, good enough with my modifications to it because uh, as you've probably gathered by now I really like to kind of go into programs and modify the source and change things about them uh, Even though I often do not know the language they're in um, and in this case I, I don't know Rust. I honestly don't I've uh, modified actually a couple of programs in it um, So I'm, I'm a little bit more familiar with it than some other languages, but I really don't properly know it so um Let's see how far I get with this program. I've already done a couple things with it that I'm liking so far. Um, so what is this program? It's Term Music. Um, and it's actually by the person or a, a contributor a, a contributor of Gomu. Uh, I guess it's not the person who made Gomu, but I did actually use Gomu previously um, a while ago. So I was kind of surprised to see this is the same person. I only just found this program here recently. It's Tram Howe, I think is the way to pronounce the person who wrote this. Um, if that's wrong, let me know. Um, but anyways, this is a terminal-based music player, and one of the most important features for me is that it has album art out of the box. Um, now, I guess that's a little bit of a like nitpick of a feature, but that's something I really want in a music player, album art uh, in a terminal-based music player. Um, and it's also, you know, it's pretty much what you would expect from a terminal-based music player, right? You've got a a library view that's just, you know, your library, your, your file, uh, files of songs here so I can, you know, go through. I can actually open up a tag editor on it if I wanted to, um, and it's got automatic tag fetching uh, in that editor, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, it's a playlist-based view here by default, so um, I'm a fan of that. I like that. So I was pleased to see that out of the box. I was also pleased to see that out of the box it's Vim key binding, so uh, that's actually pretty nice. So I can uh, just press enter on a song, play it, uh, play pause. Normally I can skip through very easily, F and B by default for forward, backwards in a track. Um, like I said, the album art is there by default, so that's pretty nice. Uh, you can actually move it around if you wanted to, so I was kind of interested and surprised to see that. Um, now you can see with the rescaling, like if I rescale this window a bit, um, it's sometimes okay, it's not perfect though, so I, for example, if I change that so it's much smaller, the album art is not perfect there, so I was actually gonna open it up and see if I can find a fix for that, I don't know if I'll be able to. What I did actually change so far, um, normally there's a lyrics widget at the bottom here, or not widget, uh, pane maybe is what it would be called, a lyrics pane. I actually got rid of that completely just because I don't want it. Um, and there's also by default a, a Discord rich presence in this application, which I also do not want at all. So I've gotten rid of that completely. Um, and to be clear, this isn't really like minimal suckless compliant software. Um, it, it's, you know, it's not really that minimal. I think it's not exactly the most bloated piece of software ever, but it's definitely got stuff that I don't want in it personally. So I've kind of been going through and figuring out, all right, what am I going to be removing from this software? And uh, what, if anything, am I going to add? Uh, there are a few things that I would like to see support for that right now it does not have. Um, so for example, it has themes that you can just uh, toggle on and off. Essentially, it's just got a bunch of theme color files here. Uh, which is not what I would prefer to see in a program. I would prefer proper Pywall support. Um, it looked like the developer was actually open to doing that. There was a issue created and the person asked for Pywall support uh, and the developer said they'd look into that. Um, that was a little while ago, so we'll see if that happens, but I was actually gonna go through and see if I can manage to do that myself. Um, so if I can, I will uh, update you guys and make that build public if that's something I'm able to figure out. Um, but I mean, the colors, you know, since there are a lot of colors available, I think it's fine. And, you know, it's running in my ST, which has Pywall support. So the background color there is what I care most about. And that's fine. And uh, you can, of course, rebind all of the keys. Uh, that's pretty nice. The general configuration is uh, pretty much what you would expect. Um, what else is there to go over here? Oh, there's a nice little um, shortcuts uh, menu here or a shortcuts cheat sheet just to go through and see what the shortcuts are. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, just cause I don't, you know, obviously know all the shortcuts. I'm not gonna memorize the shortcuts for my music player of all things, at least, you know, until I'm more used to using it. So it's nice to have that. Uh, that's sort of a, a good 
um, a good feature to have. Um, but uh, like I mentioned, it's it's written in Rust. So um, as of yet, I have found the code to be pretty well commented and readable. Like I said, you know, for somebody like me who does not know Rust, uh, or at least does not properly know Rust, I have been able to go through and, you know, make some changes that I wanted to make so far. Um, and I, you know, haven't had really any issues, you know, reading it and understanding what's going on. So um, big up to the developer for that. Um, I, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm liking it so far. Um, this might not be what I ultimately settle on in terms of music player. I think, I think we'll see. Uh, but this is looking like a strong candidate. Uh, I did want to mention a couple other music players, though, just, um, just so that you guys are aware of other music players. Uh, if this is sort of, uh, either not minimal enough for you or doesn't have something you want. So, a couple things to mention. Uh, first of all, CMuse, which is kind of the... A gold standard for minimal music players. I think it even gets like a shout out on the Suckless website for like uh, programs that rock. Um, this is a very old and very classic music player. Um, it pretty much, you know, just has what you would need. I did use it for quite a while, um, but it doesn't have album art uh, for obvious reasons. So I sort of, I prefer something with album art. So I kind of, I went away from this. If it had album art, I think I would probably be on CMUSE to this day, but I really do like having album art just because I think it, uh, for a lot of albums, not every album, but for some albums, it really does add to the experience to have the art. Um, just depends on, you know, the artist and how they're valuing their album art, where, sort of what they're doing for their album art, but especially, especially with more electronic music, which is a lot of what I listen to, the album art is kind of important to the experience, in my opinion. Um, so that's, that's CMUSE. There's also NCURSE's music player Client++. I always used to think it was NCURSE's music player C++, but uh, it is in C++, but it's actually called Client++. Um, so this is what you see a lot of people using, and um, it's got full Pywall integration, uh, it's got a music visualizer, um, it's got a fair amount of features beyond something like CMuse, um, but it's still, you know, relatively minimal, and it's, you know, in a terminal, and uh, obviously I'm talking about terminal-based music players because that's what I prefer. I prefer terminal-based applications when possible. Um, so I think this is a pretty good option. There were a couple deal breakers in it for me. Um, like I said, the lack of album art. Now you can actually sort of hack album art into it with Uberzug. Um, it's possible to do that. I did set that up a while ago and it was okay. It didn't, it wasn't really perfect. Um, and I guess I'm still sort of looking for the, the perfect music player, which, you know, it might not really exist until I manage to, you know, edit code on something enough to the point where it's got everything I want in it. We'll see if I can get there. Um, but anyways, back to, back to term music here. Um, you can get it on the, uh, Arch repositories. It's just, uh, term music. So, um, and of course, you know, it's got other distros here, or you can build it from source if you wanted to. Um, of course, you know, I would go through, I would encourage going through and editing, uh, to change features if you wish and, um, sort of recompile and change some stuff if you want to, since that's what, that's what I've kind of always done with music players, just because I really have yet to find a music player that out of the box impresses me enough that I don't feel like I need to change anything. Um, I think of all, you know, sorts of applications, music player is probably the thing that I'm most like nitpickiest about how I want it to behave and look, um, just cause I, I care about music a lot and I listen to music constantly. So I, I really want a good music player. So my standards are high, um, but I am liking the experience with this one so far and we'll see how nice I can get it. Uh, I'll probably be working on making some edits to it for a while here. Um, and I'll let you know if I end up, you know, making a build that is worth sharing. Uh, right now, I think it's sort of my my changes are cobbled enough that it's not worth sharing. Um, but uh, we'll see. Uh, and like I said, I'm also kind of taking it in the direction of making it a lot more minimal. So really removing features that were added, which um, is might be something that uh, you guys in particular like in a music player. Um, I don't think that's the direction the developer wants to take this project. I think the developer is trying to add a lot of, uh, features that they want or other people want. So that's, that's fine and fair if they like that. I prefer minimal programs. So I'm sort of stripping away features here in this program. And I was going to see if I can manage to get some Pywall support working. We'll, we'll see on that. I, I suppose I'll let you know if I ever manage to do that. Anyways, uh, yeah, I figured I'd just kind of quickly give this program, I guess, a shout out just cause, uh, I've been working on this a bit recently. Um, and of course, if you know of other music players that are, 
you know, ones I should check out, let me know. Uh, like I said, I've kind of gone through a lot of different music players, so I may already have tried the ones you recommend, but uh, still let me know. Uh, maybe there's some very niche music player out there that is actually the perfect one that I have yet to see. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Peace!